In this video, we'll see how you can install additional add-on libraries to provide expanded Arduino support in MATLAB. Now when you're working with Arduino, there are a lot of libraries that are available out there for all sorts of different types of sensors. And you might want to be able to include some of those and wrap them from within MATLAB. Well, it turns out that you can do that. So there's a function called list Arduino libraries, which tells you what libraries are currently available. These are MATLAB Arduino add-on libraries and many of them are included uh, with the support package. So SPI, Servo, I2C, and even this Adafruit Motor Shield come with uh, the support package when you download it. But you can also find additional libraries, and these two I've downloaded uh, online. So you can find some of them in the Add-on Explorer. You can also find it on the File Exchange. I can search here for uh, Arduino Add-on. And these are some ones that MathWorks has created, but there's nothing stopping anybody else who has uh, some special Arduino library from wrapping that and then allowing you to call that uh, from MATLAB. And the one I'll use here is this LSM303 add-on, which is for an accelerometer unit. I've already installed it in MATLAB, as you can see. And a key thing to note is that not only do you need to download this uh, submission, which contains the MATLAB code, but you also need to download and install the Arduino uh, library itself. So that Arduino library lives on GitHub um, and it's supplied by Palalu. Uh, but once I've downloaded both the Arduino library uh, and this MATLAB submission, then I can start uh, using it in MATLAB. Alright, so how do I start using it in MATLAB? I can copy this. And when I call the Arduino function, in addition to the port and board name, I use the parameter libraries and give the uh, library name. And so now when I connect to the Arduino, we'll see that uh, under libraries, this library is going to be in there. Now once this library is there, I can create a sensor variable uh, using the add-on function. In add-on, you just need to give it the Arduino object and the uh, library name. And now I've got a variable that represents this accelerometer. So if I want to know how I can use this variable, I can use methods on it and see that it's possible to just read the acceleration or read the magnetic field uh, from this device. So I'll read acceleration of sensor. And you see that uh, because it's sitting on its side, the way it's mounted in the breadboard, um, gravity goes through the Y axis here. But if I actually pick it up and turn it sideways. Now gravity is going through this z-axis and I can rotate it one more time and see the way that gravity is actually now going through the x-axis. I'll show you another thing that you can do with it. Pull up a script that I've written earlier which does some live animation using the animated line function in MATLAB. So here if I run this we can see the data coming in um, and as I move the accelerometer around, I can move it to different sides and see the uh, lines dump around as I change the orientation of the sensor. All right, and the way I did this was simply creating animated lines in this MATLAB plot using the animated line function and then adding points to them as I read them in uh, using that read acceleration function that I had earlier. So it's very simple bit of code, but it allows you to bring sen sensor data directly into MATLAB and visualize it as it's coming in.